One, two, three, record. Hi guys, hi everyone. As I was telling you on Instagram and uh, as per request of uh, you guys, I link the profile. Anyway, you wanted more clearance about the semi hydroponics. So on one side, I'm still experimenting this thing. On the other side, it's working quite well for most of my plants. I'm trying to switch as many plants as possible to the semi hydroponics because if I have to stay away for long periods of time, then this method is going to really help me quite a lot. I'll tell you what I'm doing and I will surely follow up on Instagram on the development of the state of the, the plants. So the plant that I want to pass to semi-hydroponic now is this Arabica coffee plant here. Why? Because uh, the pot is way too small for her and the roots had started to basically go through the holes. And I don't think it's a good thing. I see it said very, very often. So it really needs repotting and I also want this to grow bigger. So although I really like this one, I'll set this aside for the next plant. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it. So let's start. So the first thing you need is a glass of um, glass. <laughs> A glass of glass. Sorry, the, the stupid uh, thing. So basically you need uh, a jar made of glass. Transparent is much, much better. Don't use something that is too colorful or like that is non-transparent because you will not be able to check the level of water in the in this thing. Then you need expanded clay. Really necessary. And goodness, I forgot the moss. One second, I'll take it. Yeah. and water best if filtered so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the plant off uh, this thing i should be using my repot mat it's wonderful but this desk is way too small for it so i'll mess up the desk don't worry i will vacuum it and it will come back to normal what i want to do is to free all the roots from the soil i don't want almost anything to remain I hope the plant will not go into shock, but I don't think it will because I already divided it for a friend and hers uh, was uh, was doing well. So you see, they are like tiny, tiny plants. If there is a little, little something remaining of the, um, the soil, it's not really a big deal. I'll set this aside. I have these ones. Uh, Again, this was uh, almost always uh, getting dry and I and the plant was really suffering. So I don't want the soil to get dry, especially for this one, because it's not too happy with really dry soils. It really loves water. So that's something that we have to keep in mind. I don't want to be in a rush because it's a delicate process. I'm trying to take as much soil as possible from the roots uh, so it's not going to cause any root rot. Hopefully we're not going to quarantine again because last time I moved all my plants entirely because my parents have a huge home. So huge, quite big. So I didn't want to stay by myself. So, so we all moved there. Mm, including cats, dogs, dog, plants, everyone moved. Okay, this is another one. Look how pretty, how pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm less excited for these because they seem quite entangled. They were not so difficult to separate from the soil. I thought it have been much more difficult because the, the roots are super tiny. And uh, so I thought it would have been way more difficult. But I think we are getting there quite easily. This method also hurts uh, the um, apartment way less because it's without soil. So I'm left with all this. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with the expanded clay. It's going to make a bit of noise, but I don't know. You won't mind it. Okay. This is enough. The clay is more or less like this, um, up to here. So this is where I'm going to fill in the water. I use the more. The expanded clay should not be floating. Just should be just a little below the expanded clay, you see. So here there's no water. It rides more or less until here, up to here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my moss, hopefully without insects inside. I'm going to soak it in water. Yep. So it starts to get uh, moist. I'm going to squeeze it, Whoop. so all the excess water goes, and the nice roots are all going to be wrapped around, no, they need to be more tidy, so one, two, maybe three by three, no? What do you think? Three. Less water. You don't need to have a whole lot of water because the expanded clay and the mold will bring up by capillarity the humidity and the, the water, so don't worry about it really. Then maybe we can put a bit more moss. What? And I'm going to put some more coffee plants here. Nice. I don't think it was a great strategy. I don't know, it's a bit difficult with these tiny roots and this number of plants because you usually do it uh, like for one plant. Uh, if, for example, it's an aroid, a philodendron, whatever, then you do it uh, with one plant. Uh, at the time, but this was already getting dry, this one here, because I can see the stem getting dry, so it was time to change home. Whoop, last two. Be very delicate because. We don't want to kill the roots. I paid it not very much, but still, I mean, it wasn't one of my most expensive plants, I have to tell you, but still, I don't want to kill it because I really like all my plants. Like each one is unique. And then I'll fill the all the gaps very gently with soaking wet moss. And I'm using moss a bit for, for a bit of everything because um, it helps to balance things uh, quite well. Like to balance the humidity, the amount of everything and uh, the capillarity it brings uh, up the water to the plant, as I said. It's very important uh, that you don't uh, do these things uh, of repotting in hurry because uh, you don't want to kill the roots. Uh, it's really a pity if things, uh, if the roots die because uh, of uh, something that you did in hurry. So make sure you take all your time, that you have a lot of time to do it. If you don't have time, wait, better to wait. And uh, yeah, here we need to fill in all the spaces. I am breaking also the mass a bit. 
to make it fit I prefer to break the moss rather than to break of course the arabica makes sense no? okay I think we are almost done And uh, here we are, that's the plant. So basically, expanded clay, water, soaking wet moss, and my beautiful Arabica plant. You can do it also with many other plants, with the Calatia is working pretty well. And um, yeah, so um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you will also subscribe to my channel and uh, click the bell button so you can receive all the notifications and know when I'm going to upload a new video. I hope you have a great time taking care of your own plants and experimenting with the semi-hydroponics. See you the next time, ciao!